okay hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here i am consumer debt free trying to build up my emergency fund and trying to pay off my undergrad school loans this is going to be um my extra pay breakdown plus cash stuffing um so we are in the month of july and psych we're in the month of august we are in the month of august um but I wanna, yeah, yeah, let's do the August. Or should I, yeah, 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 let's do August. Okay, so we are in the month of August and I had an extra check um, breakdown, which I'm gonna share with you here. Um, and I'm gonna share how I split it. I actually been using this one as um like to test it out for the month and i've really been liking it like a lot um spicy money on youtube inspired me to like try this this um disc bound eight pun half letter disc bound half letter style and i really want to just go back to the simple ways of how i used to budget which is like just pen to paper um without all like this fancy stuff um i'm like really missing this era <laughs> of when i first started my journey um and i really really like it so i have done a lot off camera as you can tell one thing i realized is i don't know why i like to fit one section on each page like for my monthly bills next month i think i'm gonna split it into two just because i feel like it's cramped um, I did my paycheck breakdowns here, um, my extra check, which I already planned out here, but I'll plan it out with you guys, my sinking funds, and then I have my expenses here, um, and I'm using the cloth and paper because this is a beginner bundle with by cloth and paper, um, so I'm just using what they gave me um my nail net tracker my emergency fund tracker and then because i knew i was gonna run out eventually of cloth and paper and i want to con continue this throughout the year i did print out a printable um which is from my minimal planner okay. so i don't know where it cut off but because i knew eventually i would run out of cloth and paper and then i looked it would cost to like rebuy these and it's just not it's just too expensive so i bought this printable from my minimal planner which i absolutely love her stuff and i also bought this hole punch well i don't know if it's a, a disc puncher so it's this one right here um let me know if there's a better one out there this one is like you know it's cute but like if i don't have to do extra steps i would prefer that um but yeah so I bought that from my minimal planner and it works like you see I, I did a whole bunch just to see like the best way to do it um and then here's my extra cloth and paper and then it also came with this these weekly so I'm like using them because I just don't wanna you know not use them if that makes sense um and like put them to waste so I'm just gonna use them as like my checklist of things that actually get done <laughs> um so yeah i'm definitely using this i might actually just in my august videos um sh do, should i share this with you let me know if you want me to show you like how i'm doing it in this one um or like should i just keep it off camera i don't know but let me know um besides that i also got these pens that were like 60 percent off on amazon and i've been eyeing them so i really like and i said in another video i really really like this one but i guess they just rebranded them to make it look like sleeker i guess um but so yeah i got these as well so i'm excited to use those so for my summer school check let me just go back here my first check that i got paid august 2nd I am doing holiday holiday is getting 150 um travel 
is getting 100. My CLEP exam that I will be taking this month is getting 120. My move for paying myself back is getting 145. Um, my Nordstrom card, which I bought some Birkenstocks, is getting 177. Um, my Chase credit card, which I owed money, is getting 176. My B Day fund is getting 45. My self care is getting 25. My Nespresso is getting 25. And then personal is going to get 130. So all of that should add up to 1063 and 30 cents. So 150 plus 100 plus 120 plus 145 plus 177 plus 176 plus 45 plus 25 plus 25 plus 130 cents gives me, gives me 1063 dollars and 30 cents so the 30 cents is going to stay in the bank but my nordstrom card i already paid that off chase i already paid that off um and my move is just going to stay in the bank. I just added on to whatever I have for moving the bank. And then the rest we're going to cash stuff right now, which I'm so excited. And I'm also cashing $55 redemption, but I'm not going to include that as like extra income because that's just basically income I've spent that I get money back. So I'm just going to, and that's $55. I should make a note though. I'm going to put a note here. Um, 50, I believe it's 50 cash back. And I'm going to be stuffing that. Um, okay. So we have that money here. So let's count it. 50. Let's put this 50 in the front with a 10. And then I think the rest is like that. I'm trying to put it in order. Okay, so we have 50, how much am I supposed to have in cash, hello, okay, so 150 plus 100 plus, that's going to stay in the bank, B day 45 plus 25 plus 25 plus 100 plus 50, 495, so 50, 20, 40, 100, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 495. Okay, we have 495 and I'm going to just make sure. Okay, so I already got paid, obviously. And we are going to stuff holiday first. So these are my sinking funds. Um, and we are going to do holiday, which should be in the front, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. These cash envelopes are from Mary Plans, and I just ordered a, a, like, holiday set from her. I just love her stuff. It's so simple and neutral. I don't know. It's just simple, minimal. Simple and minimal. I love it. Um, holiday is going to get the 150 so i'm gonna put eight two eight yeah well today's not the second today is the six i'm gonna put an eight two so extra check plus 150 and that's 15 percent of my um in extra income so 320 plus 150 that's 470 my goal was 2000 but I don't know what I was thinking. If I hit 1000 that would be amazing. So 50, 20, 40, 20, 40, 60, 81, 50. So 20, 40, 60, 81, 50. So now we have 470. 
So 1, 2, 3, 20, 40, 60, 84, 50, 70. It's going to need a placeholder soon, which is so exciting. Okay. Holiday is done. Travel is going to get 100. That's 10% of my extra income. And I really want to beef this up because I am going to travel next summer. Which reminds me that I need to renew my passport <laughs> now i have 225 so um 20 40 60 81 so now we can put this together so we have 150 100 20 40 60 80 225 225 i think for my um savings challenge i might put some of that towards travel because i need to save up so travel is done clep is staying in the bank so i'm just gonna check it off um b day is getting 45 so if we go to our notes section i looked at my sheet to see what i could do um and i could do the 45 so i'm gonna check it off indicating that i've done it yay 45 is done okay so let's do i want to put it here so i'm gonna put eight two um extra check plus 45 so now we have 245 and that means i can highlight this pretty lady here i'm gonna do a purple 45 let me see, is there a 45 here? There should be, it's right here. 45. Yay. Okay. So, 20, 40, 5. Two thirty, two forty, two forty-five. So that's done. Self-care is getting its first twenty. Oh, that's emergency. Self-care is getting its first twenty-five. <gasps> Yay! Um, extra check plus twenty-five. Now we have twenty-five, and we are going to highlight. One of these. I'm going to do a leaf. How cute. Okay. So, 25. Okay. So, that's done. Self-care. And then we're going to go back again. To check off the self care of 25 because I was able to get that done. Um, self care Nespresso gets 25. So, Nespresso, Nespresso is here and it has a 10. So, we're gonna do 8 2 extra check plus 25. Now we have 25. Oh, 35. So, 25. So, now we have 20, 35. Which is good. I'm going to probably use this up because I have a discount of $10 off if I spend 45 So, I might use that up. And then we have 100 for personal right here. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. I kind of want to put in a sheet to see really how I spend this money or keep track how I spend this money. Where are my sheets? Right here. I need one for there and one for educational. Excuse me. 
Okay, so this will be personal. And then eight, two extra check plus 100. Now we have 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. And this is like for like me going out, going on dates with my um, boyfriend, stuff like that. Um, and then educational, I technically have deposited, but I left it in the bank because I'm already paying for my clip. So I'm just gonna put eight two um, extra check one twenty, but it's in the bank. Because I'm already going to spend that. Whatever I don't spend from that, I'm going to take out and put it back in here. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So, educational is done. And then we have 20, 30, 40, 45, 50 left from my cash back. So, what I was thinking is putting it actually in allowance. Not all of it, but maybe like 25 in allowance. So, I'm going to put... 25 in allowance. I'm going to take these two tens and a five. Because I legit have no money here. <laughs> 25 in allowance. And then maybe I should note it down here. 25 allowance. Maybe I might include this as my. I don't know. We'll see. 20. And then 25 is left. So, where do I want to put that? I should put some in the medical. Um, I'm going to put five in medical. So, I'm going to put eight, two... Read that. I'm gonna just put deposit plus five. We have ten just to give that something, and then do I want to give any change? That's not helpful. That. No change there. YouTube, no change. No change. Maybe household. Nope. Nope. I have, I need to change money. So, hold up. I'm about to take these two tens. Put this 20 here. Um, I wanted to put 10 in fur baby just in case, you know. I don't like to see that empty fur baby. Yeah, you see it's empty. So, 8 to re deposit. I'm put redemp plus 10. Now we have 10 in fur baby. something so my I put five in medical and ten in fur baby and then the last ten is going to Forty-five. Put it towards household. Eight to deposit redemp plus ten is fifty-five. All right. Okay. So then the last ten went to household. Alright, so that is it for my cash stuffing and extra check breakdown. Look, I have it all here too, so I'm just going to check all these off. Okay. 
all right guys hopefully you enjoyed this video um if you did please comment like and subscribe and i will see you in my next one bye